Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom, and I guess I'm switching gears a little bit today. Recently, uh, I have bought myself my very first 3D printer, and I've had a very good experience with it, and I figured I'd share it with all of you, and if anybody is considering buying your own, I might make a case for this particular model, because it's worked out really well for me. So, if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about this Sovol SV01 3D printer, stick around. As I was doing my research, knowing nothing about 3D printers, it became very easy to become overwhelmed by all the different options and capabilities that are out there. Uh, the first decision you have to make is if you want to go with a resin printer or a filament printer. The filament printers have a much larger print area and they tend to be cheaper to operate. And in my opinion, a little bit easier to learn if you're uh, getting into 3D printing for the first time. Some of the other options that you have to keep your eyes open for are a direct drive extruder versus a Bowden tube extruder. Um, you have to see how the X, Y, and Z axes are driven. And the build volume ha makes a big impact on what you are able to print. And then the overall construction uh, is very important. So let me explain to you why I chose the Soval SV01. First off would be build volume. The SV01 has a 240 by 280 by 300 millimeter build volume, which is one of the largest, if not the largest, build volume for the entry level 3D printers or 3D printers in this price range. Another attractive feature about this printer is the fact that it operates with a direct drive extruder. As I was doing my research, I noticed that people seem to have a little bit easier time printing flexible filaments with a direct drive extruder as opposed to one that first has to pass through a long Bowden tube to reach the hot end. That Bowden tube can introduce a little bit of error into the print and it can also struggle with some of the flexible filaments. So I decided to look for a direct drive extruder in order to just eliminate those types of issues that I may have as I'm learning how to use 3D printing for the first time. The downside to having a direct drive extruder is that the extruder is attached directly to the hot end on the gantry, which can add weight. The Soval SV01 compensates for that by having a dual screw, dual motor setup for the z-axis to compensate for that extra weight. Some of the other things that attracted me to this printer are just some of the extra accessories that are included in the package. This glass bed has a nice coating that allows prints to release cleanly after they're done. It also has a filament runout sensor up top which will stop the print uh, in case you run out of filament. It also has an auto resume function. If you have a power outage during a print, it will automatically resume once the power comes back on. This machine is made with many of the same parts that the Ender 3 Pro is made from, and lots of the parts are interchangeable, and that also means that a lot of the aftermarket accessories made for the Ender products will also work for the Soval products. So that explains why I chose this as my 3D printer. I've had this for about a week and I've been having a really good time with it. Um, I've printed a whole bunch of different things and just tried out a whole bunch of different stuff just to see what I'm capable of doing with it. My experience with this printer has been great. It comes mostly assembled in the box. All you have to do is lift the gantry upright and attach it with four screws, attach your screen, attach your Z-axis limit switch, 
and then attach your filament holder and your filament runout sensor. Plug in a few wires and you're ready to go. You have to level the, the bed first before you can print. And so I leveled my bed and I printed off the test file that came loaded onto the machine and it came out perfectly. Now it was printed on a raft and so printing on rafts can it can be difficult to tell if your Z offset is perfect. Um, so after I printed off the test file I then went ahead and did the Benchy benchmark which is kind of the standard just to test your 3D printer's capabilities and I have since ordered a whole bunch of different colors of filaments and I the first thing I do with each one is I print off a of Benchy just to see how the filament will react to my what I would call my standard settings and then I can take notes and make adjustments um, based on what I observe while it's printing off the Benchy. But this white filament that was included with the printer printed out the Benchy just great and uh, so I was really satisfied with that. So I tried some other things. I printed off a tolerance test which just allows me to see how tight I can get. Um, I can print uh, pieces in place. So it starts at 0.6 millimeter tolerance all the way down to 0.1 and this was able to print this whole this whole test in place and I can freely move the 0.2 millimeter uh, plug but I cannot move the 0.1 millimeter plug so this does have a, a good tolerance up to 0.2 millimeters and that just helps me if I design my own parts to know um, how much of a deviation or space I would need between parts to keep them from accidentally fusing together in the print. And then one last benchmark I ran was the the uh, engine model print in place benchmark which you print it and then you should be able to kind of break all the bridges loose and then it is a working model of a tiny little engine that was all printed all at once. Since then, like I've said, I've been having fun just printing off some little fun things for my kids. Little Pokemon character skulls and maybe a, uh, a Mario character or two. And I was even able to uh, make and decorate this prop sword for my son for Halloween. Anybody that recognizes this, this is a Percy Jackson sword, and uh, that's what he's going to be for Halloween this year. Some other things I've done is I went ahead and I bought a Raspberry Pi. I, I'm using the Raspberry Pi to control and to monitor the 3D printer from any computer or phone in my house that's on my network. And I also printed an enclosure for the Raspberry Pi, and it sits back here. Um, I was so impressed and just satisfied with how easy this printer was to set up and just run. It just ran straight out of the box without any issues. Uh, I reached out to Soval and I let them know how much I liked it and let them know that I had a YouTube channel. And so as a way to say thank you, they are offering $10 off to anybody that would be interested in purchasing the, the SV01 3D printer. All you have to do is click on the link in the description below and use the coupon code THOMAS10 and you will get $10 off of the Soval SV01 um, and that would be on top of any other discount that they may be running at any given time. So if my experience in this video has convinced you that this might be the printer that you're looking at, make sure to take advantage of that coupon code. Thanks everybody for making it to this point in the video. I appreciate all the support. I'm pretty excited about this newfound hobby of mine and I may include um, some update videos from time to time about projects or my experiences with 3D printing. I hope you found this video informative. Take care everybody and I'll see you next time.